Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Happy Mother's Day! Why don't we have all the moms in the room stand up? Go ahead. Come on, let's show them our love. Thank you, Mom. It is uh, it is a joy to uh, have my mother here on Mother's Day. Thanks for showing up, Mom. <laughs> We, uh, the last time they came it was a complete surprise and this time I was given some warning. <laughs> <laughs> the last time I was in jeans and, and uh, uh, you know, a shirt and this time just for my mom. <laughs> Let it be known. I thought I'd throw in a suit just for mom today. Mother's Day is a good day. We, uh, we want to take a few minutes as we look at God's Word to, uh, to honor moms. And uh, I came across a couple of uh, funny stories that I wanted to share with you as we begin in honor of Mother's Day. Now, I didn't write this, so let's just uh, make that uh, disclaimer. It's entitled, Mean Moms. We have the meanest mother in the whole world. While other kids ate candy for breakfast, we had to eat cereal, eggs, and toast. <laughs> when others had a Pepsi and a Twinkie for lunch, we had to eat sandwiches. <laughs> and you can guess our mother fixed us a dinner that was different from the other, what the other kids had, too. Mother insisted on knowing where we were at all times. You'd think we were convicts in a prison. She had to know who our friends were, what we were doing with them. She insisted that if we would uh, be gone for an hour, that we would be gone for an hour or less. We were ashamed to admit it, but she never had the nerve to break, the she had the nerve to break the child labor laws by making us work. <laughs> we had to wash the dishes, make the beds, learn to cook, vacuum the floor, do the laundry, and all sorts of cruel things. I think she should lie, she would lie awake at night thinking of more things for us to do. <laughs> she always insisted on us telling the truth and the whole truth and nothing but the truth. By the time we were teenagers, she would read our minds. Then life really got tough. Mother wouldn't let us go out with our friends. Uh, they, when they came to pick us up, they couldn't just honk the horn. Uh, they had to come up to the door so she could meet them. While well, everyone else could date when they were 12 or 13. We had to wait till we were 16. Because of our mother, we missed out on a lot of other things kids experienced. None of us have ever been taught shoplifting or vandalizing uh, others' properties or even being arrested. It was all her fault. <laughs> we never got drunk, took up smoking, stayed out late, or a million other things that kids do these days. Now that we have left home, we are all educated, honest, hardworking adults. We're doing our best to be the meanest parents, just like our moms. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what's wrong with the world today. It just doesn't have enough mean moms. <laughs> <laughs> this one uh, probably relates more to some of our younger moms and dads that might be in the room this morning, but it struck my funny bone. One afternoon, a man came home from work to find total mayhem in his house. His three children were outside, still in their pajamas, playing in the mud, with empty food boxes and wrappers strewn all around the front yard. The door of his wife's car was open, as was the door to the front of the house. Proceeding into the entry, he found even a bigger mess. A lamp had been knocked over, the throw rug was uh, wadded against the wall in the front room, the TV was loudly blaring a cartoon channel, and the family room was strewn with toys and various items of clothing. In the kitchen, dishes filled the sink, breakfast food was still on the counter, dog food was still on the floor, a broken glass lay under the table, and a small pile of sand was spread by the back door. He 
He quickly headed up the stairs. Stepping over toys and more piles of clothes, looking for his wife. He was worried she may be ill or something serious had happened. He found her lounging in the bedroom. <laughs> Still curled up in the bed in her pajamas, reading a novel. She looked up at him, smiled, and asked how his day went. <laughs> he looked at her bewildered and asked, what happened here today? She again smiled and answered, you know every day when you come home from work and ask me what in the world I did today? <laughs> yes, was his incredulous reply. She answered, well, today I didn't do it. <laughs> Our mothers are invaluable to us, aren't they? They uh, often, it's left unsaid, but uh, they are really the heart of the home and they, uh, they make it work. And uh, we want to express our, our love and appreciation for mothers. As a matter of fact, uh, the very essence of motherhood is really founding in God. And if I had a title for it, the message today it would be this, the mother heart of God the Father. Because everything a mother is, is really a part of, of who God is. Way back in Genesis, uh, when God is creating uh, Adam and Eve, it's recorded that he said this, let us make man in our image. And then it says this, male and female he created them. All it is to be female and all it is to be a mother really comes from, from our God. Mm -hmm. And today I want to look at some of the characteristics of what motherhood is as it really relates to the heart of God to every one of us. Because uh, all of us have a mom. And that mothering comes from the very heart of God. Isaiah chapter 49, I want to uh, turn there for a minute and, and read a few verses. Isaiah 49, verse 13 says this, Sing, O heavens, be joyful, O earth. Break out in singing, O mountains, for the Lord has comforted his people. And we will, and will have mercy on the afflicted. Verse 14, but Zion said, or God's people said, the Lord has forsaken me and my Lord has forgotten me. And then listen to the response of God. Can a woman forget her nursing child? And not have compassion on the son of her womb? Surely... As, as hard as that may be to even think can happen, surely they may forget. Yet, God says, I will not forget you. See, I have inscribed you on the palms of my hand. Your walls are continuing before me. I would like to suggest today that the very character of, of a mother, and I want to describe a few for you this morning, comes from the very heart of God towards us, his people. I know we've often talked about and we've heard about the Father heart of God. And yes, He is very clearly revealed to us in Scripture as a Father. We're taught by Jesus to pray, our Father who art in heaven. And we, we have an understanding and we can grasp the concept of, of God our Father, the one who comes to, to uh, protect and to provide and, and, uh, and sustain and care. But this beautiful picture that God Himself uh, uses as an illustration of his love for us today it comes from the illustration of a 